So we go straight to other stories. Um, yesterday, yesterday, a police officer was killed by armed robbers, and this story has been trending in the news for so many times. Uh, Lou and the and the IGP came out with a statement saying that uh, they have ordered, or the police service has ordered, uh, the banking sector to provide a bullion van. That is a bulletproof bullion van for their police escort. If they don't do that, they will withdraw or stop their policemen from escorting the bullion vans. So this has been trending. Yesterday, the IGP went to the uh, Emmanuel Osai, that's the police officer who lost his life. He went to the house to, you know, see the family and then talk. Now, the IGP came out with a statement. I want us to go over the statement and listen to what the IGP has to say when he visited Emmanuel Osai, the corporal who lost his life uh, home. Inspector General of Police IGP uh, James Opon Bernier has come out uh, under immense criticism over growing insecurity in the country with some security analysts calling for his resignation. So security analysts are saying that said uh, uh, insecurity or my animal is so quick we can also go is cow bank cry now so now he will cheat or we take a look at a car be now another castle say trailing on tino according to go for the brain or IGP in a human hour you know or move so as a genius and to carry on or resign now when I actually finish up and also can in some in team at was so so if I said that he told journalists after he visited the residence of the late uh, police council Constable General Emmanuel Osei, who was shot by some armed robbers on Monday, uh, June 14th, when he was providing escort to a billion van. The IGP indicated that despite the alarming rate of insecurity, uh, Ghanaians should lower their expectations. So I have a problem here. So we know that uh, the IGP or the police service are in charge of our general security. So if the IGP is coming out to say that Ghanaians should lower their expectation from the police because crime is experienced everywhere, including developed countries, I mean, this is, this is why I draw a, a break. So, so, and he said, you say, say, the Obo Bayano, the Obo Bayano, so say, I did a genuine, a genuine, someone in Hawaii, everybody in Hawaii. That means that uh, Ghana for you are somebody in Papa. It means, it means, say, uh, uh, Ghana for right now, no, your secret, you know, it's at stake because I, GP, Nankasa, Inspector of General of po Police, to me, but I want to be a uh, you lower your expectation because we expect them to protect us into your high expectation for them. But, uh, when you Nankasa, you know, you lower your expectation now. Now, and also, I ask the female, I was say, yeah, sure. Now you can watch them. So I'll continue to read a little bit of the IGP can, you know, and was everywhere, including developed country, like I said. So we are doing what we can to protect the people of Ghana. That's what he said. There is no uh, society in the world where there is no crime. That's where I have a problem. Of course, where we are crime or but uh Ghana for no, you wouldn't say a security system, not say a yeah uh and you're proactive. Oh, I say rather reactive. I didn't say no constable Iman or say is dead, then there is nothing we can do about it. I feel on penny for quality fear. Omoko Omoko share with your phone in crime. So Omunja is so and all that. But this man is dead and gone. So we have to be very proactive. I say even in the US, uh, in the UK and Sweden, where the uh, where the only place that doesn't have crime is heaven. They all can say even in US and UK crime crime or whole. Maybe crime when you heaven. This is what the IGP is saying. So I want to say some case here, or say have been a crime in your So this is a very serious issue. So uh, if anybody calls security analyst is saying that uh, we are not on top of our game, and that is why things are happening, he does not know what he's talking about. So according to the IGP, security analysts be brave about one thing. Incident we see and radio stations and TV stations have called upon security analysts to move far, or more view Emra on this uh, this particular incident I see. You know, now a lot of them are saying that uh, IGP, you know, I was say it's not So with immediate effect, I was say I was sorry because I said you manage in them. Now IGP so so area about our actually almost say so almost can't say not just say almost new the almost can now it could be I know I said be men some room. Crobiano, a crown for any arm robbery across the world, our society, US, uh, UK, and Sweden. And so that is that. So we, let's go for the images and we'll come back to the rest of the stories.
So in a related development, um, some few days or some few hours, we have seen on social media a video circulating with some armed men. So some armed men have been seen displaying and showing off money and guns on social media just after the robbery attack uh, that, that left a police officer and an eyewitness dead. Now, where you know, I'm focus. Ah, I don't know if I'm going to police officer and I'm going to because. Immediately, and as a right after uh, incident, you see, you know, uh, now uh, uh, Inspector General of Police also call uh, Emmanuel, a uh, constable Emmanuel, say, if you now, when the condolence message in our COVID, you know, now for your social media, so I am around here, probably only about four or so, or the uh, guns, pistols, and now, um, this can um, now you can hear them saying, say, oh, be a big gun, meaning that everybody is going to run away. So people are speculating, say, could these people be the people who are behind the death of constable? Emmanuel or say it's a question out there and people are asking the IGP and the you know Ghana police service to be proactive like I said earlier on say so how is it possible say and um, run to me affect you now I'm a fessica they're just displaying it showing it recently I say a malam for a TV so I I'm sure saying in an idea no two mono you say I shut it down for about 49 TV stations so the question is a dear to me no more was that to me a bit display guns and from their actions, we cannot really tell though, but from their actions, the way I coincided with the whole situation uh, of uh, the uh, robbery attack, no? a lot of people are saying, sir, are these guys, are these guys, could they be the, the ones? You know, I have a question, you are, not, you are not too sure. Yeah, you say, and it's an eyesore. It's in our circle because she had the IGP can say, My own fire spit and in two must be expectation in Luano. How can we lower our expectation when somebody can actually take a phone and then start uh, taking video of himself? Now, somewhere in social media, I read that the video mistakenly came out because now the video no come out, colleague Bina mistakenly a quarter WhatsApp group Mina about out. And if that is the, that is the case, the NNN Kaiveka say, Yedanyamiya say. So this is a clear evidence. Not just a police, no Ghana police service, no. They have to be very proactive. So this is a clear evidence. Say, me, I can come on say, if indeed. These guys are involved, and I say they are responsible for the death of a uh, eyewitness, a uh, uh, fear bedu, and a uh, uh, constable Iman or say, I'm a free move, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if they are responsible for their death, they are no say Ghana police service, no, or we are proactive now because we don't want to see them continuously, you know, on, on Facebook flaunting their money and their guns and their pistol. We have kids on social media, your uncle on social media, and to say, of course, what are they teaching kids? I didn't know much, uncle, I believe, say, oh, much. Now, you can just go. Oh, you do everybody thinks uh, there is no law. You can do anything you want and just walk away free. And so I believe that if they are caught and they are brought on social media on the same platform or they are brought on TV, people will realize that uh, whatever you do, you know, uh, there are consequences and there are laws, you know, governing this country. So on this note, I will urge the Ghana Police Service, I will appeal to them, say, videos now about one thing, you know, they shouldn't take it lightly. As soon as possible, you know, we, are, we want to see a response, a very good response on the videos. You know, say, indeed, if these guys are really connected to the murder of the constable and the eyewitness at ECO Jamestown.